Well, um, I did the movie because, um, you know, I need a little extra money, but <laughs> wait a minute, I'm getting paid. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> That's why That's we're doing this movie, so people can start talking about this now. Yeah. You know, whereas before, just like you said, no one was talking about it, so people had to hide. So what are you doing? Like, you keep talking. Yeah. You create a dialogue. For me, I think this, the whole piece, the subject matter that we're trying to tackle is really important because it, it opens up dialogue um, more than anything, specifically now with everything that's happening throughout the country <clears throat> with you know, the gay community fighting for the right um, to marry you know, the, the person that they love, whomever. Um, I think this is really important for, this, for the sense that it allows the straight community to feel comfortable to ask the questions that need to be asked. It allows a dialogue to be created between the straight and the gay community, and even more so, it allows a dialogue to be created within the black community regarding the subject matter, because for so long, it's something that has been taboo for so many generations. Speaking of choice, let me ask you this simple question. Mm -hmm. So, if these experiences, you know, happen to you when you're young and they help shape you, you know, like you said, your first experience, you know, help shape your sexuality. Is being gay a choice? Or is it for far and more? Take it from me someday. I think film, TV, all these things, I mean, they're supposed to, isn't it what they're supposed to do, really? I mean, they're supposed to entertain, but I think is to create dialogue, is to have a message behind it. I mean, mo the movies that we love the most, we, what after so we talk about it for years, right? And I think this is one of those things that uh, that would definitely get people talking and talking for years. I just love the way it correlates the civil rights and a black and a gay rights thing. I mean, it's just like I think that's clever. about it. I think um, some people possibly could develop um, because they're already um, marked. Because for me, in my own experience, I was marked gay from little. But I just wasn't, I didn't have feelings for men. I didn't um, develop that until later on, you know. But I had mannerisms, I had, you know, my voice is higher or, you know, different things that made me not fit into the straight prototype. So I've been called gay my whole life. So it was easier to be gay. It was, it, it really touched the chord because I thought about all of my uh, straight friends and things that I have relationships with and how it was difficult for us to kind of get through um, an understanding and really open the dialogue um, as being um, black men, you know. Um, a lot of times the media and different things try to alienate uh, gay people and straight people and straight versus this, gay marriage versus marriage, and um, it's just never, no one sits down and really talks about it. So um, this movie definitely does uh, bring up um, the issue or bring up the, start the dialogue. And that's where all great things start, is just start to talk about it and everybody having an opinion and respecting each other. So. Um, Definitely. On that note, um, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> go be free. I'm participating in this film because, most importantly, it is written by a heterosexual African American male. And that's so important because it brings a totally different perspective. And if I am correct, this heterosexual male wrote this based upon his experiences with a homosexual friend. And I think it's so important, to, again, like everybody said, to open the dialogue.